moment I understood the weakness of my flesh. It disgusted me. I craved the strength and certainty of steel. I aspired to the purity of the blessed machine. Your kind cling to your flesh, as if it will not decay and fail you. One day the crude biomass that you call the temple will wither, and you will beg my kind to save you. Welcome back to the Tommy Trials. Thomas here. Although I have no idea where I'm officially going to begin that video. I was having some fun. I have played ahead a bit, so I know how the game works, and then I stopped playing the game. Like a boob. Uh. No. No. I mean, we could really do something cray cray. Breast Cancer Awareness Tech Priests. <laughs> We're not going to do that. I'm just going to stick with Mars for now. You can tell me down in the comments which two colors you think we should use. You've got all those colors to pick from, so I'll let you pause it, pick it, suggest it. I think that we've got some upgrades to do here. Oh gosh, I'm going back in time. Losing upgrades. <laughs> no! Okay, uh... So we have Jeremiah and Menarius. We've got our Macro Stubber and our Phosphor Blast Pistol. So we've got the em energy damage and the physical damage. And then you've got this. But I'm honestly... I'm not going to take that. I'm going to give you a Macro Stubber as well. Going with similar... Loadouts. Kind of the story that I'm going with is this guy. He's the engine seer. Engine seer. Engine seer. Blah, blah, blah. And he's the dominus. So this guy, I mean, for me, he's... At least this is the story I'm going with. He's he's more eager to build himself up. But let's take a look see here. Uh, Alright, so you are the medic. Alright, and then... Give you this. One physical armor, don't care. Three HP max and an energy armor. Two HP and an energy armor. Like, why would I do this when I could do this? And why would I ever do that? No idea. So put that on. Are those like bolts sticking out of his torso? Well, that's definitely different. Oh, you... Oh! That's evil. That is pure evil. I am one Blackstone short. Alright. Got two missions. This one's gonna give us extra cognition gauge, as well as the refractor field generator. This one, however, though, is gonna give me access. As long as I succeed, it's gonna give me access to this Katari Ranger. Skitari Eye Ranger, Cogn Cognitive Canister, some Blackstone. I'm going to be fighting Flayed Ones. I don't know what we've been introduced to and what we haven't been anymore. I, that's the curse of playing ahead, I suppose. And Servitors. Right now we only have the three Canticles. Canticles. So I'm still trying to figure out if I want to do voices, but I didn't have anybody complain in the videos about me reading it, so we're just we're gonna keep reading them. Uh, but he says, "The potential for corruption in the tomb of Arglech continues to vex me, Majos. The spreading of incense was not enough. I fear not, Majos. Don't know how to pronounce that. Still, the malevolence of the Necron is overwhelming." 
Observations on the Tech Cosmos verse 68. We are derelict in our duty whenever we allow corruption to plague the minds of good men. Then what do you suggest? Our progress in the tomb makes it possible for us to install a system of vox casters in the structure. And what would that achieve? Lingua Technis prayers could be transmitted to the very heart of the Necron's resting place. Our troops would go everywhere bathed in the sacred binary of the Omnissiah. Sayings of the Princeps 65.4 When thou desirest to discourse purely, use binary. A novel concept, Lector Dogmatus. Dogmatus, what a name. So I do apologize if I sound a little plugged. My nose is not operating at peak capacity. I have considered your plan. That, that's the voice of Google. The voice to go change over time. He's a robot. He doesn't have a voice. I don't know. I have considered your plan, Videx. Videx. Videx, I don't know. And a cohort has been deployed to the area. I have personally selected the prayers of purification and translated them into broad spectrum binary. Once the Vox casters are active, the tomb will ring to the Omnissiah's word. I have the Vox casters. Okay, I don't, I don't have girl voices, so I'm just going to read it like Thomas. I have the Vox caster locations plotted, Madros. I am still uncertain if this is worth the risk to our people. Once in possess possession of unaugmented emotional centers, I misread that. One in possession of unaugmented emotional centers cannot appreciate the benefit of this operation. And another hate quote stuff all the time. Your concerns are noted, Capra. But you have your orders. I, I don't have a voice for him. Yes, my choices will be done. Okay, day. I don't have voices for all these people. Video game logic taunts me with this. I'm doing this one. Fortune favors the bold and all of that. Oh, foul. Could this be a place of Xenos worship? We have no data on their religious practices, but I retrieve Pharaoh dictates 53.12. Not all data should be acquired. This chamber contains a large slab of metal that resembles an altar with the images of glowing skull-like Necron faces inscribed on the walls. Defile it. Originally defile it. Destroy the altar with demolition charges. Seal the chamber and find another way around. I feel like if I try to blow it up, the Necrons will have some sort of anti-explody. Opportunity lost. Wasted. Gone wanting. Such knowledge. Plus plus potential. Gained. Equals. False. It is hard to talk that way. Because <laughs> you're breathing in. Alright, well. Increase the awakening, but... I don't know what the right option is there. The one I clicked before, I think, got us, like, anti-exploded or something weird. Go oh, good. Our presence has been detected. One of the Vox casters being transported by the cohort begins emitting strains of music from an unknown source. The music sounds like it is of human origin, but it could interfere with the binary transmissions. Broadcast an admonition to the, admonition to the entire Skitarii force. Find the source of the music through examining the local news sphere. Transfer a stream of counter data. The council out. Yeah, let's uh, find the source. I shall chastise the offender in person. And then another verse. Initiative decreased. I like it. Glyph. This panel controls... And I'm probably not going to be able to keep doing that voice just because... That is a painful voice to do. I'm not going to lie. This panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room beyond, which is filled with cognition. If we can work out the right commands, then we can reap the rewards therein. We're within. I have yet to figure out... There is no difference when you highlight them. So. Ow! That was rude. 
glyph. Always go right. Ow. <sighs> okay. Jerk game. Extra Necrons in battle. That's great. The cohort's communication picks up a transmission played in a binary adjacent Xenos. Xenos. I'm going with Xenos. Language that can be interpreted as a distress signal. It is originated from the next cha chamber. It's in the transmission from outside. What else to do outside? The transmission, sorry, I was reading it, not out loud, is a looping distress signal that peters out into static before restarting. It sounds like the final words from a dying ship. The uncertainty of its origin, or the reason it is being played in the tomb, is far more disconcerting than knowing the truth. Well, let me just tell you, I'm pretty sure... Now, I didn't know this would... Uh, this game apparently doesn't have anything that's random at all. I didn't realize that when I was playing it, or I wouldn't have. But uh, there's another option where it's... That is that um, evil Necron Admiral playing it. Battle time! What is this vile mix of flesh and machine? Is this a form of Necron in its infant state? What has Scavola to say? That journey statement loaded. Not your life form progression path. Why does this have to be so long? I can't do that voice that long. Diagnosing possible outcomes, sign of degradation, deformed segmentation, and psychological deformities. Possible solutions, plus plus infant, disease, or parasitic life form that represents form of ripped flesh. Should I continue? That's enough. I believe we are not the ones to diagnose Necron Health, but instead be their executioners. I am mostly concerned for my troops' morale. There have been reports of Skatarii disappearing in these tombs, and believe, and I believe I now know why. Skatarii lives are less than Acriotech slash STC fragments slash mission. How supportive of you, Redditus. Okay, this is not helpful. I have a wall. Catafron battle servitor armor not thick enough. Castellan's proving equally ineffective. Must find weakness before we're... <laughs> it appears this Xenos form triggered a fragmented recording from Rezac. Indeed. It appears we'll have a tough time using heavily armed forces against the specimen. Maybe we can use their strength against them? Wise words, Dominus. Indeed, since we're starting with people being hurt and no cognition, because apparently right is always wrong. Alright, so we've got the, uh, the canat... Can canoptic... Acanthrite. Canoptic acanthrite. Canthrite? Canoptic acanthrite. I've got people only equipped with guns. If I can get over here, there's black stone waiting to be discovered. Do a scan. So actually, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, that's right. This is not XCOM. I'm like, why can't I? Donde estas? Uh, uh, que es? Spanish. Nah, my strong suit. Right, scan you. I sit tab. Again. This game is not XCOM. Now, there is a convenience to the phos phosphor blast pistol. It will reveal the stats, so I don't know why I didn't use that and then use my servo skull to grab. this to review stats. Alright.
Ah, depth of field. I don't need you to go grab some cognition for me. Probably should have given someone an X, but that's okay. All right, another flayed one, another Necron warrior. We are most officially outnumbered. Let's bring in a servitor. Smack away. Hope for a three, hope for a three, hope for a three, got a three. What about the macro stubber? Still not much to health he has left, but that's okay. I don't... What do you do with... Oh good, you're out of range, apparently. Oh... He had five health, right? That shot only did three damage. I mean, I'm more okay with uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah taking a hit than... Although this is going to be an opportunity hit, but I don't want that to happen. Ow. This Tech Priest ain't looking great. I've got to make sure that this one does not get back up. I'm going to use what I've got left to hopefully put this one down. Yeah. More cognition is always good. And the turn. I have also learned that when... Well, okay, okay, game. When the game is done bringing Necrons in through these portals or passageways, manufacturing spots. Oh no, that must have been the one that had three. I could have swore I brought on the one that had... more, but what do I know? Right, let's smack this thing. Got the two damage from the servitor, good job. Can someone explain to me what a servitor is, please? Are they... A only robot? Because I thought I read that they were only robot, but when I look at this guy, he looks mostly robot. There's definitely some human qualities there. Like, I know that tech priests are human, and I know that servo skulls once upon a time were human. So... Just the questions that keep me awake at night. Get some info. I picked the wrong gun. Let's get some info. Might as well grab that cognition. He'll heal one. I do know that the uh, the little scaraby thing does cause acid damage. <laughs> Gotta make sure this blade one does not come back. Doing good, doing good, doing real good. the opportunity smack on the Necron, the Necron will then move and probably every time they move past oh good job servitor well done Use this one to find out the stats. Crap. 
Not get the crit there, though. Okay, so this one does not have... Servitor's getting it done. Ah! Sorry for the whole acid thing. I'll use a servitor to finish that guy off. Definitely hoping for three. Didn't get it. Lovely, lovely stuff. Definitely gonna get shot at. Let's cleanse him. Here we go. Distract the Necron. I want that black stone. Oh. Grab the cognition along the way. Use more cognition to keep going. I wish to scan. Hey, Blackstone! 79 Blackstone, too. No small amount. Well, and since we're on a cognition wasting nightmare, maybe I can get one. I got it. Yay! Oh, I got the crit. Nice. Good job, Jeremiah. I keep trying to hit tab. I've been playing way too much XCOM recently. Keep you from getting up. Shoot the other Necron right in the back. I've been doing a lot of zooming in. Take a good long look at our guys. Sayings of the Arch Magi, Appendix 4. Such sweet music is the chatter of binary. There has no tongue to lie. Ensure the volume is sufficient, Magos. The first Vox caster is in, is in place. It immediately begins transmitting the complex binary of Linguine Technus. Increase the volume. By prayer shall this place be cleansed. I just am not sure that something playing is going to make the robots just stop doing what they're doing. Turn the volume up to maximum. <laughs> Let the enemy tremble. I don't know. I don't know what effect it's going to have, but uh, I like tremble. Peaks out to the 11th degree. I got Blackstone. Don't hear me complain. We're at 3. At 4 we get even more, so I'm hoping that there's no more fighting. But this is probably a fight too. I don't remember. Extra Necrons in battle. The Necron tomb is trying to defend itself. Clearly our mission is working. Uh, a swarm of tiny scarab-like constructs emerge from apertures in the wall and begin scurrying all over the Voxcaster, chewing through its casings with their steel mandibles. Punish. Purge. Protect. Purge! A 
sound strategy, he says. Uh, the awakening was increased, but I'm not concerned. I got Blackstone. Alright, the final Vox caster is installed. The binary prayers flow through the tomb, filling both real space and the local new sphere with the words Workshop Exalting the Omnissiah and the Creed of Mars. The unholy lair of the alien now rings to the words of the Omnissiah. The Necrons can strike at our minds as well as our bodies, and we must protect both. In this lecture, Dogmatus, I agree with you. I hope we are of the same mind in other matters too. Our exploration of Silva Tenebri should be executed with a view to our to the destruction of all traces of the alien. I have not decided if we should commit to such extremes, Videx. I feel multiple emotional prerogatives as well as lo logical analyses all competing for primacy in my neuro vaults. Our mission here may not be as simple as you think. Just be ready to make the right choice when the time comes. Recall the words of Fabricator General Platonus, the eyes of the Omnissiah are no ever upon us. All the box casters to dampen the Xenos taint. Cognitive canister. We've unlocked Skatarii Rangers and a Balakstone. Did that in a whole lot in 11 minutes. I forgot to use Canticles again. I could have used a Canticle and spent less Blackstone on repairing him. Let's go to the cohort. I'm gonna keep going down the Damas line. Deal one damage. Yay! I'm gonna go one more. Energy damage. Three H three HP to HP max, add three meters of movement. Two HP and this. I like this. Also watch this, this is impressive. And, like that, he says goodbye to his legs. <laughs> hey, no more legs. Looks extraordinarily painful, but otherwise I think it's okay. Let's go here and let's... I can give 3 HP. So we need a lot of Blackstone. I'd rather, I'd really prefer to take some Skatarii with us on the next mission, so I'll keep that. You've got one. I think we'll give... I think we'll give Mr. Jeremiah here this, which just comes out of his back, which is just... Anyway, I think we'll give him that. It does some... Well, here it is. No, uh... It deals two physical damage, which is helpful, but also max, max, knocks back the target by one tile. So if you're in melee, you could smack him back, then take your gunshots without having to worry about... Opportunity. I could not think of the word. It was completely gone. Alright, we have one to do here. Seriously debating the exact same idea, but no. I think what we'll do is we'll give you the uh, cura curatio claw. There we go. That way you can do some healing. You've got extra movement now that you don't have legs anymore. That's just something else. Okay. So even though you're not the healy guy, your legs makes more sense for that. And then you. Are also there. It is tempting to not have this gun because it's just not as much use against anything really, but I mean this does two to four. If they have armor 
of two, it can either be absorbed or it can do two. Whereas this would do one to do if they had physical armor. I'm thinking we just equip you with the double macro stubber. Leave you the way we've got you. You keep your phosphor gun. Probably a stupid idea. So, the Skatarii reveal enemy statistics when they deal damage, and then they do 2 to 4 energy damage. So, no physical damage. So, if I'm taking uh, a large group of Skatarii rangers, then it probably is good that I give Jeremiah the two macro stubbers. Uh, that being said, we've got three mission options available to us. If I complete this, I get a Skatarii Vanguard Alpha. And then I also gain an additional tech priest, which could be very useful. So I think we'll do that. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, guys, Jake Hardy.